Hi everyone, welcome to the next lecture on Vedic Maths. In this video, we are going to discuss the, some important points when we are dividing the any number by 9. As you know, in the previous video, I have already discussed how to find quotient and remainder if we divide the number by 9. But the few important points I was forget to explain in that video. So, I will try to cover in this video. So, when we are dividing any number by 9, that uh, dividing method is very simple in Vedic Maths. We will get quickly answer uh, quotient and remainder. But there is a, some important points you must have to remember. So, I will explain through one by one example. Here our first example is 101121. I will write uh, 3 in the right hand side. Why we are writing 3 in the right hand side? Because this 9 is near to the base 10. So, this 9... 9 is near to the base number 10. So, we are taking the base as a 10. And 10 contain only 1 0. So, remainder is at max one single digit. That's why in the right hand side you have to write the single number and remaining uh, numbers in the left side. Now, in the next step as we are taking the uh, dividing the number by 9. So, 9 how much less than 10? Only one number. So, here the first number is as it is. And as it is number, you have to add in the next number. So, 1 if we add in 0, so answer is 1. Now, this number again add to the next number. So, whatever result addition of this number, you have to write in a next. So, here 1 plus 1 is 2. Add this 2 in the next number. So, again here 1 plus 2 is 3. This 2, 3 we have to add in the next number. So, this gives the answer 5. 5 add in the next number. So, it is a 6. Now, this 6 we have to add in the next number. So, it is a 9. Can you see here what we are doing? The first number as it is and one by one whatever that answer we are adding in the next next number and this is nothing but the quotient. But in the previous video I forgot to tell you that when this are we are getting the right side is representing remainder. But think that is it possible that 9 is a remainder? No, when we are dividing by 9 and lastly we are getting 9. So, 9 once the 9 will be possible. So, when we here we are getting the 9, then what we have to do? That 9, that means here in the next number you have to add the 1 and the remainder will be 0. So, if we add here 1 in this number, so 6 plus 1 is 7, then here 5, 3, 2, 1, 1. So, I am just adding this 1 in this number. So, this one is the answer. So, this is nothing but the quotient and 0 is a remainder. So, 0 is the remainder and uh, quotient is a 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. So, I hope this first concept is clear to you. So, when we are dividing number by 9, so what you have to follow the process? First number you have to write as it is. Then, whatever the result here we are getting, that number you have to add here. Then, again take the addition. That addition number you have to add in the next number. Take the addition. So, it is 2. Add in the next number. So, it is 3. 3. Again, that addition you have to add in the next number. Continue this process till the end. And that last number addition, if it is a 9. So, 9 that means remainder is 0. And that quotient 1 you have to add in this quotient part. So, this will be the our quotient and remainder is 0. Now, see the next example. In this example, here... Our number again you have to break in two parts. So, right side part is single digit and remaining part is left side. So, 2, 3, 4, 5 is our main quotient and here 1 is the we are writing in the right side. Now, again same process you have to follow. The first number 2 right as it is. Add this 2 in the next number. So, if we add this 2 in the next number. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. This 5 if we add in the next number. So, here then 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 add in the next number. So, 9 plus this 5 is 14. Here, 14 is a 2 digit number we are getting in the addition. Now, 14 we have to add in the next number. So, it gives the answer 15. But as you know that 15 is greater than 9. So, it, is, it will be not the remainder. So, what you have to do? This extra number. So, 15 is nothing but 1 and 5. So, this five, 1 extra number you have to add in the next number as well as this 1 will be added in this number. So, if we are adding this number here as well as this uh, remainder part, so this 5 plus 1 is 6. So, this extra 1 you have to write here 
and that number you have to also add in the right side part. So therefore this is giving the answer 6. Now 4 plus 1 is 5. Now here this extra number because everywhere we need the single digit here. This uh, addition each number is single that's why I am just adding this 1 in this seven, uh, 6. So it gives the answer 7. But here it is a 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. So 15 you have to write 5. Carry 1 for uh, adding the next number because everywhere we need the single digit and because this addition is 14 two digit number so here only you have to write the single unit plus number and next part you have to add in the next number so next is 9 plus 1 is 10 again 1 carry 4 5 plus 1 is 6 and this 2 so hence we can say that if we divide this number by 9 then quotient will be 2605 and remainder is 6 so in this way you have to solve the questions. I will take one more example for understanding simple two, uh, three digit number we will take. Let's suppose we have given the number 145. Now divide this number by 9. So here 1, 4 and 5 we write right side. So first 1 as it is 1 plus 5, 4 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Now this 10 we have to add this 1 in the left part as well as in the right part because 10 is a 2 digit number. In the right hand side we require single digit. So this 10 if we write in the 2 parts so 10 is 1 0. So this extra left side 1 we have to add in left quotient part as well as in the remainder part. So this uh, part if we add the 1 so it gives the answer 16 and add this 1 in the right part so it 0 plus 1 is 1. So that means the quotient is 16 and remainder is 1. We can cross verify also. Suppose we are using the regular division method to divide this 145 by 9. So divide this 145 by 9. Now 9 ones are 9. So take the subtraction. Here 5 and this carry 5. Now next 9 5 uh, 6 are 54 take the subtraction 1 so see here the quotient is 16 and remainder is 1 so i hope this method is clear we will see the more interesting method of division uh, in vedic maths in the coming video thank you like share and subscribe